Hi everyone, this reading is going to be about Maya Miliete. It's a very odd case if you listen to it. There's just so much there and I won't be able to tell you the whole thing. Basically, people think her husband did um, kill her. There were even that the, the day she disappeared, a neighbor's uh, doorbell, cam, you know, camera audio, whatever it was, um, it picked up the sound of what sounded like gunshots, eight of them. And it sounded like it was coming from their house. The husband did have a lot of guns. Husband's name is Larry. Husband was pretty, it sounds like a little obsessed and controlling. He uh, was very jealous, thought she was having affairs, actually called her work and tried to get her boss to um, keep other people away from her in her workplace, to move certain people away from her, men of course. Uh, very odd kind of beliefs. At one point he tried to make her into, I believe, a Christian. And then he started doing a witchcraft like spell, trying to um, kind of keep her under his control. It's just weird all, all around. The day she went missing, she had contacted a divorce lawyer and set up an appointment. And the day after, or it was the day she went missing or the day after, the husband disappeared for 12 hours. He said he went to the beach, took his, I think, four-year-old child. And um, I, I mean, that alone, who goes to the beach for 12 hours? That's a long time. I don't know how close the beach was to their house. I don't know where they live. I should have looked that up. But that said, uh, he left his phone at home, so there was no tracking of him, no nothing. He has not gone to the vigils for her. He has not joined search parties for her. The family, Maya's family, hired a lawyer, and the lawyer does believe she is dead. Uh, everyone's very suspicious of the husband, Larry. So with that said, we're going to read this going ahead as if um, really looking for somebody that is not alive anymore. That seems to be what everybody believes. And usually I don't read from that angle, but after watching the videos, pretty much everyone thinks that she's not anymore. And they think the husband had something to do with it. So we're going to ask a few questions and see what the cards say. Um, and, and who knows what will come up. But uh here we go. Our first question is going to be just what happened? What happened to her? All right. I'm just setting my intention of focusing on what happened to Maya Miliete. Really pretty young um, woman. Had children. I think three children. Oh, the kids, the, the night it happened, they were out in the backyard. There's videos of them out in the backyard at 1030 at night, a school night. Uh, you know, neighbors were like, what are they doing out in the backyard? It's just a lot of odd things going on in this case. Someone else said it smelled like bleach in the house uh, right after it happened. Anyhow, um, as I ask what happened, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the woman of uh, luxury, the woman of means, the woman who uh, has kind of uh, is trying to tame uh, something wild, <laughs> which is sad. Um, and it very well may have been her husband that night. Uh, that's what I see when I look at this card. He, he was... Um, uh, She's trying to get him under her control. She was trying to, um, he felt she was talking down to him, is what I think. He felt that she um, <clears throat> thought she was above him and thought she had him under her, his, her control and that she could kind of do whatever she wanted. I see him as that, if you look at this card, there's a hawk that's captured. It's got those things, the hel little helmet they put on hawks. And the woman's like kind of looking at it and, and um, sort of in control of it and, and telling it, you know, what to do, how to behave. It's under her command. And I think that's the way he felt about her, that she was treating him that way. She had moved out and wasn't, not moved out of the house, but moved out of their bedroom. And um, 
cuckold is what I think is what he felt. He felt like a cuckold, <laughs> which there's a, he, he did think she was having affairs. There's no proof of that as far as I know. But even if she was, you can't go and kill people for that. So um, let's see the husband's involvement. I'm just setting kind of my intention as I move from one focus to the next. Okay, husband's involvement. What's this card? Um, so that's a card of decisions. And we had the pentacles here, and now we've got the pentacles there. Uh, she was the nine of pentacles, the way she appeared to us. And this is a person making decisions about the pentacles. Um, deciding their fate. So I do feel that uh, Larry made that decision. I do think he felt he had the right even. Uh, one other thing I want to note of this card that really jumped out at me is he said he went to the beach that day and you could see, or the day after, I think he was gone for 12 hours, you can see the sand and you can see the beach back here. Um, I do think possibly something that he took her around a beach area um, I am going to ask where is she now. That's my next card. So let me ask that one and see what that, because that beach really came out to me. I'm going to turn my heater on. Okay. So let's see. Um, let's see. Where is she? We've got that beach that really jumped out. We get cups probably in the water. Um, dumped by a beach possibly. People do think she's passed, so I am reading, making this reading in that sense that she is. So I don't know if, if his family has any property. I, I have no idea about that one, but there's a family card. Another weird thing in this case is that he had a freezer and there, there are a lot of cups there too. And I did talk about possibly water in the cups. There, there is a freezer that coincidentally, I think it was that very night or the next day, one of his relatives came and they moved the freezer out of his garage. So, here we've got a family card of where is she? I don't know if his family's got any property, but it, I, I mean, I don't want to say things like this, but it could have been some family involvement. Um, and then there's a lot of cups. So, him saying he went to the beach, that could have been sort of a giveaway of family involvement and the water. Hmm. Okay. Uh, could be family property too if they own property anywhere and I'm not sure if they do but in this card and I guess I've never really realized that either there's, there's a little river flowing through here maybe some family property number four is how can she be found because that's really what everybody wants to know how can she be found All right, let's see what we get. This has gone on for too long. This happened in January. And uh, people are still looking for her. I'm gonna go with both of these. So, Two of Swords is a woman that's blindfolded, can't move. Um, swords are traditionally thought, you see a lot of water behind her again. I do think, being that I'm seeing a lot of water here, I think that uh, she is around water, um, and she can't move. I, I don't know, you know, sometimes, uh, this is grisly, but sometimes people are tied up and put in water and kind of held down, things like that. Um, 
that's the way I feel about this. I feel like she, um, she can't move. She's stuck by the water. And the blindfold, for some reason, is jumping out of me as tied up. And then the other one, how can she be found as that King of Cups? And uh, so I think somebody knows, um, Larry is the husband. Somebody knows where she is in that water for sure. Uh, definitely knows where she is. A lot of cups. Yeah, there's somebody like guarding that secret. I, I, I'm sure they've questioned the brother, and I'm sure they've questioned the husband, but, but I think a man knows. A man knows all about this water situation. Um, so I just asked for advice for searchers next. Yeah, like Lakeshore or something. And this is advice to searchers. Okay, I'm getting two cards here too. So this is the Six of Wands. Um, it's traditionally a victory card. Somebody who feels that, and another way this card can be looked at is this person um, beats someone, right? He's a winner. He's he's uh, He just came back from the victory and he beat someone. So. Uh, Six of Wands is like a victory over the fight. Um, in readings like this, it can mean literally beat someone, um, and, and it sounds like uh, somebody did just that. And somebody has that, uh, I'm going to win at all costs. You see he's wearing red very powerful. He feels very powerful. He won at all costs. Uh, that person, I, if it is it, the, the husband, uh, he was not going to lose. He was not going to let her leave and lose um, if it was him. Uh, advice to searchers too is there's the child. And I know there was a little four-year-old, I believe, that went with him that day that uh, also on the white horse. <laughs> so traveled with him that day. I think the kid knows something, the, the little one, and I don't know that they question little children or what the legalities or ethics of that are, but I think the littlest one can maybe, um, maybe someone else's children too. It doesn't have to be a Maya and Larry's children. I feel like a child knows. I think a child watched a lot of this happen and traveled, and, and I think the four-year-old traveled with uh, the husband on that day. I think the four-year-old knows. It's advice to searchers. They can't exactly go and, and um, talk to the four-year-old, but yeah, yeah, I think the kid does know, though, and they should move on that soon, if that's possible. I don't, again, I don't know the legalities in the... <clears throat> The ethics. Let me ask, uh, is is her body within 10 miles? And I am saying body because that's what everybody assumes at this point. So from 0 to 10 miles away from her home. Zero to 10 miles away from her home. See what we get for that. I'm not the greatest at this. It's a lot like timing and it's difficult, but I give it a stab because there's no way you get better if you don't keep trying. Within 10 miles of her home, there's temperance and the cups and putting the foot in the water and the foot in the land. I do again, that word lakeshore came to me and I see kind of a lot of this lakeshore, ocean, beach stuff here. I don't know again how far the the water is, 
but if there is water, a big pond or something, maybe on the family property or um, uh, doesn't have to be his, but his brother or another family member's property. If there's water, I feel like she's not far from the shore. I feel like, uh, like her body is just put in a little bit off the shore, but I think she can't, I think she's wrapped up. Yeah, I think she's wrapped up with that too of a sword. I don't think uh, she's kind of like held down and can't, you know, the body can't move. Um, but if there's a lake shore around there, and I do feel like it's not that far. Temperance is there. Temperance is an angel. You know, that's, uh, and the cups are water again. So I feel like she's not that far from home. And I think that little one knows about it, and the husband knows about it. Possibly other family members know about it. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to ask for another card on the, if there's anything else, any advice in this situation. I know people want to find her, so any advice on finding her, uh, any more information on where she is. Let me ask for where she is and then more advice. So first we'll go again with where she is. If there's anything that comes a little more detailed. I don't know if there's like a Lakeshore Drive. <coughs> I, I don't even know what state they're in. Okay, where she is, well, here's the magician, and I, of course, this is saying she's hidden, you know, the magician is somebody that uh, can hide things very well, and the cup is right in front of him, really think she's hidden in the water, uh, not far from the shore, though, or off like a lake shore, lake shore drive, or lake shore, not far from, she's not far in, is what I'm seeing. But he does uh, think he has her hidden quite well. Yeah, I'm really, uh, sometimes certain things in the cards come to me. And I'm really seeing this uh, pointing down, like look down. Maybe there's a, is there a, a cliff type area that it's hard to get to? If you to get down there, um, that the water might come up to the shore. You gotta look down, it's in a weird place. And he doesn't think he's gonna be caught from, from that. Okay, let me just ask for a little bit more advice. Okay, well, that's the six of uh, swords, which as you can see is a person in a boat. So I think what they need to do is search the lake shore by boat. I think that is the only way that she will be spotted and found and she's actually under like in a, like maybe a cliff area that sort of goes in or something. Um, yeah, like a cliff, lake shore, um, the water comes up and maybe in this like uh, how about area and bound to where her body can't move is what I think there. They got to search by boat. That's the only way I think they're going to find her.
And you see, you know, even like more disturbing is the man bringing the woman and the child. They said he had a child, one of his children with him that day. And the woman here, you see again, she's wrapped up. And I kind of got that feeling from one of these other cards, the, the two of uh, swords that she was wrapped up. So I think he wrapped her up in something. Sometimes you can make a body heavy if you throw them in to keep them sunk. I kind of think that's the situation. He may have even taken her out on a boat and dumped her somewhere. There's a lakeshore, lake, either a lakeshore or a lakeshore drive. Something of that nature. I do feel like she's wrapped up. Hmm. I hope they find her. I really hope they find her. Let me just ask. That wasn't something I included. But let me just ask, will she be found? Let's see if she'll be found. Hopefully Barry. What's this card? Well, there's our Wheel of Fortune. Um, fate would have to change. Right now, they, they really have to look differently with that wheel. Um, they're just not looking in the right place. They'd really have to have to think what this is saying is they'd really have to research the shoreline. The reason I'm saying that, I know you're looking at this card, like what is, how does that card say that? But what draws me a lot is this lion um, looking in this book. They all have books and that's making me think research. They'd really have to research the shoreline. They have to change the whole way they're searching. So if, what we got was they need to search in the water. They need to search by boat and not by land. And then, um, they, they need to do geo, geological, um, like a survey of the different lakeshore kind of crevices and the way the lakeshore uh, moves in and out and different kind of, uh, I'm not thinking of the right, caverns, kind of different ways the water flows in different areas. They need to do more of a geological type research around the lake shore, the shoreline. Um, yeah, they, they need to research more and go in a different direction than what they're doing now. They need a different, a whole different approach to the way they're searching. They need to do more like geological, I don't know if geological is the right way, but the geographical maybe? not sure the word that I'm looking for, but study the land and the way the water, the land moves and the way the water kind of hits the land and what is in those areas underneath there, around there. Yeah, the shoreline, the shoreline. I keep hearing the shoreline. They need to research the shoreline. I hope that helps. She's there. She's definitely there. They need to research the shoreline. The, the answer's there. You know, I see this like, uh, I think it's a little pharaoh sphinx. <laughs> he's got his sword, like not so knowledgeable, and he's just sitting up there with the knowledge. The knowledge is there. Nobody's looking at that knowledge. They need to study that knowledge. Just turn, turn into a different direction. They're going in the wrong direction right now with their search. They need to search the shoreline and boats and try to find something that's underneath the water. It's probably way down, would be my guess. Okay, that is my reading on Maya Malete. Let's all hope that she is found. Bye bye.